not adept in the kitchen, have no fear. I've got four quick tips and tricks to get you kickstarted in the kitch. Ta -da! Hey there, it's Anne from Veggie Many Feek, your go-to for holistic wellness and a healthy vegan lifestyle. Today, I'm sharing four tips to help you if you and your kitchen are not, shall we say, BFFs. So let's get cooking. First up, let the power plate be your guide. Sometimes cooking doesn't have to be complicated and it doesn't actually have to resemble cooking. Sometimes it's more like assembling, but simple doesn't have to mean boring. After all, Buddha bowls are all the rage and that's the perfect example of assembling. The key, let the power plate be your guide and just assemble some fruits, grains, vegetables, and legumes. Ta-da! Now, to make sure your power plate doesn't lack pizzazz, here's my next tip. Always make a delicious sauce. This is the key, my friends. I mean, how many people do you know who like to eat salad without salad dressing or rice without soy sauce? Psh, there's no need to suffer when you go more plant-based. Au contraire, and if you're new to cooking, one of the best ways to up the flavor and your enjoyment is to focus first on learning how to make delicious sauces. In this way, even if what you prepared isn't exactly fabulous, it's still going to be yummy because your sauce is the bomb. For example, how about a nacho cheese sauce? You add boiled potatoes, water, some bell pepper, nutritional yeast, salsa, garlic powder, chili powder, and salt. Nacho ordinary sauce, baby. Or another fave is a vegan Caesar dressing. You add cashews, water, lemon juice, some garlic powder, vegan Worcestershire sauce, capers, mustard or mustard powder, and some salt. Capers, vegan Worcestershire sauce. I know, <laughs> these are not things people usually have in their kitchen, especially if you're not into cooking. But get some, they're not expensive. And once you make this Caesar dressing, trust me, you're gonna use these things up. And for more oil-free sauce ideas, I highly recommend that you check out High Carb Hannah's Let's Get Saucy ebook. It's my go-to filled with fantastic ideas. Next up, if you're new to vegan cooking or cooking in general, take it slowly with meals you already sort of know how to prepare. So for example, if you know how to make pasta and open a can of sauce, make it oil free, extra points, then you can easily up the nutrition by adding in some chopped up veggies and some beans. Or take a burrito for example. You just take a tortilla, pop in the power plate, maybe not the fruit in the burrito, or maybe, maybe you like mango salsa. And remember that nacho cheese sauce that we were talking about? That would be pretty amazing in this burrito, in, in my opinion. So the key here is think about what you already know how to make, and then just add in some vegetification. And my last tip is to research easy vegan recipes, pick one out, and try it three times. Uno, dos, tres. This is crucial, because if you're not a top chef like most of us, the magic number is three. I.e., the first time you make a recipe, it might be meh. The second time you make the same recipe, it'll probably be pretty good. And the third time you make the recipe, most likely it'll be pretty fantastic. So remember this and don't get discouraged if your first attempt is, you know, not good. Drizzle some of that sauce on it. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Just expect it. You're learning a new skill and then persevere. Today's challenge is to assemble a power platey Buddha bowl and make a delicious sauce. I know you can do it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into Veggie Magnifique. If you liked this video and you are jazzed to get going in the kitchen, make sure to leave me a comment down below and I'll look forward to seeing you next time on Veggie Magnifique TV. Bye.